Rio correspondent Yadonosko explains. Plans are now in place for the handover of power between far-right incumbent President Jair Bolsonaro and President-elect Lula. Those plans will be formalized tomorrow, and it's this that is reassuring the Supreme Federal Court here in Brazil that Bolsonaro will no longer think of contesting the result of the election, and he will leave office peacefully. That's certainly much more reassuring than the statement he made, which was rather ambiguous. It was a statement that was made almost a full two days after the result of the election was formally announced. In it, he said that the protests that were being seen were the result of the indignation and sense of injustice felt by his supporters because of the electoral system. He also welcomed peaceful protests in a signal to his supporters, at the same time as saying that they couldn't adopt criminal tactics such as invading property and also stopping people from exercising their right to come and go, in a clear message to the lorry drivers that they should stop their actions. Now, since the election result was announced, they have been blockading roads all across Brazil in most of Brazil's 26 states, and police have been using tear gas to try and disperse them. They are continuing their protests. It will be interesting to see if they will listen to what Bolsonaro had to say. Meanwhile, President Lula is already being acting as the de facto president. He's been invited to take part in the COP27 climate conference by the president of Egypt, and his Workers' Party has said that he will accept. He has also been seeing the president of Argentina, and he will have a difficult uh, route ahead of him in terms of being able to push through his plan in government because of the strong opposition, the strong number of allies of Bolsonaro within the two chambers. But at the same time, with this peaceful transition of power, this will certainly make Brazil a much stronger democracy and make things much easier for him.